2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And in this arena, you can feel the tensions mounting with each player introduction. That's playoff basketball. Stick around. We're back after this. Tensions are high going into this Game 5 Eastern Conference matchup. The series deadlocked at 2-2. Both teams are hungry for the advantage. This is Brian Anderson. I'm here with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Our reporter, Allie LaForce. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Harrison and Bede are in the middle. Kyle Lowry out there with Maxi, And it's Oubre in at the three slot. And for New York, Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three. You take a look at the Knicks. It's been a tough one so far. Back and forth through the first four games. And we all know they have home court advantage, but this is a three-game series now. The statement win here is what this team is hoping for. Lowry, the pass to Maxi. No one near him. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Well, there is never hesitation with Kyle Lowry on the catch. This guy understands he's got the right instincts and the right mechanics. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. It's all about mindset out of the gate. If you're aggressive and they give you room, go ahead, let it fly. He's so tough to stop. Even when you hit MB, he possesses the strength to muscle shots in. Maxi against DiVincenzo. Inside, Randall. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Randall's got five points. Well, that's Randall working in his comfort zone. You can see how confident he is on his ability to score inside. Here's Oubre. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Lowry, the pass to Oubre. Just five to shoot. Well, there's just defensive chops by OG Ananobi. He says, I've got length, athletic ability, and a willingness to contest. And he's just beating them to the punch on the boards right now. I mean, he, he's making a real big statement. Yeah, we're seeing some early signs that he is on his game. That putback's a good illustration of the work he's ready to put in tonight. Saw his teammate with a path to the rim, and boom, lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. Now here's Embiid. He's got five. Pass to Lowry. Back to Embiid. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. He's got seven. You're going to have to do a lot more than that to stop Joel Embiid. Brunson passes to Ananobi. DiVincenzo on the wing. Maxi covering. Here's Brunson. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. Pass to Oubre. From deep. That one falls. He's now one for three. But he's got NBA range. There's no doubt about that. Oubre with three and D ability on the wing. Brunson finds DiVincenzo. Outside Brunson. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Now here's Embiid. Shoots over Robinson. And again, it's Philadelphia. Woo, he's piping hot. Four for four from the field. No one can guard him out there. Brunson passes to DiVincenzo. And an OB against Oubre. Pass to Robinson. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Wow. On fire. They haven't missed a shot so far. 
Down low. Here's Harris. Uses the glass on the layup. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Timeout called. The Knicks. against Brunson. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And you see the aggressiveness and the absolute refusal to be intimidated inside. Jalen Brunson, a big-time finish. Harris passes to Embiid. And here's another one for the Sixers. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Outside Ananobi. by Robinson. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson, if you fail to get a body on him, he will go to the offensive glass and make you pay. Maxey passes to Harris. Maxey against DiVincenzo. Maxey, that's good. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Brunson with it. Now guarded by Harris. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got eight. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. For three, Maxi. The Knicks pull it in. Excellent job of closing out on that three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Now here's Robinson. Six to shoot. Here's DiVincenzo, and it's blocked by Embiid. Yeah, imposing his will. Embiid sending a message with that rejection. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Knicks. Well, they found their offensive openings in the mid-range, and they continue to find ways to open up those jump shot opportunities. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. But they've been fun to watch. The free throw drops for Embiid. Molding himself into one of the most dominant centers in the league, Embiid has really come into his own. And the 76ers making a change here. Reed's checked in for Tobias Harris. Heald comes in for Oubre. Melton, he's checked in for Tyrese Maxey. And Payne is subbed in for Lowry. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Pass to Hart. Count it. One for one to start the game. Another lead change. Give these teams credit. They're really fighting it out. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Here's Brunson, and it's New York scoring time out, time out. again. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot Sorry. hand. This guy has been lights out. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia.
the Sixers trailing. Pass to Reed. Back to Payne. Fires for three. Achua with the rebound. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Hard against Heald. Back to Brunson. The 15-footer. And it's New York with another. I think in today's NBA, you've got to be a three-level scorer. The midi is good for Jalen Brunson. Here's Payne. Blocked. Left side, Hart. Pass to Brunson. Over Melton. Brunson misses. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Outside Payne. Here's Reed. Achua defending. Brunson against Payne. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. He's not the quickest guy out there, but he can outsmart you and outwork you. Pass to Hartenstein. And here's Hart. And there's the drive. Robinson on the wing. Brunson against Melton. Here's Hartenstein. Second chance effort. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the Knicks making a change here. Bogdanovich has checked in. One shot. And that one misses. Philadelphia has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Outside Payne. Pass to Melton. Back to Payne. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Brunson. Payne with the bucket. Payne's got his second basket of the game. And this night already has the makings of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. Now here's Bogdanovich. Brunson. And blocked with his palm. What a defensive play. Melton outside. Here he goes. Pass to Embiid. And rejected. Here's Hart. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. And Philadelphia calls time here. I don't think this timeout is just to give the guys a breather. Coach is looking to switch things up. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Pass to Embiid. Brunson against Payne. Just five on the clock. Can't connect. Now two of six for the game. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Melton outside. Pass to Embiid. 
Yeah, I love the use of the shot fake by Embiid. Smart basketball there. First one at the line is good. And Embiid drops them both. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Here's Brunson, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Pass to Melton. There's the block. And it's out of bounds. The Sixers able to retain possession here. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Hart. The 76ers also with a sub. Harris has checked in for Joel Embiid. On defense, the Knicks. It's a five-point game. Here's Heald. Clock at six. And it's rejected. And so it looks like the Sixers will retain possession here. There's 31 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Payne. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Brunson taking his time here. 15 seconds left in the first. Shot clock at six. Excellent D there from Payne. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for New York. Absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. Back after this. Let's get you back onto the court for more of this pivotal Game 5. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. The Knicks with the lead. We've got OG Ananobi. Julius Randle out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. Then there's Jalen Brunson, and it's Steven Chenzo in at the shooting guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. What's up? And to the 76ers, their shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Harris finds Lowry. And he lobs it up top. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Brunson outside. And the Knicks, another three. Well, the high-value three-point shot from the corners. Jalen Brunson steps in and knocks it down. Harris right side. Pass to Maxi. Shot clock at five. Stolen by Ananobi. Bogdanovich against Harris. Bogdanovich, that's good. Bogdanovich has got his first two points of the night. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Harris passes to Lowry. Knocked loose. And stolen by Brunson. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. 
making plays at both ends of the floor, and it shows up in the time box out, score. Out. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And Philadelphia calls time here. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Bogdanovich passes to Brunson. Up and over Lowry, and that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, I simply stated Jalen Brunson filling it up right now. There are no signs that he's slowing down anytime soon. Here's Harris. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. And another fast break opportunity for New York. The Knicks are running. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Mitchell Robinson, he's checked in for New York. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Embiid's checked in. One shot. That free throw is good from Ananobi. Boy, the athleticism of OG Ananobi can be eye-popping sometimes, guys. And what's happening now is he's developing on the offensive end. This guy's upside is absolutely tremendous. Here's Randall. Sinks another one. He's on a roll, starting four for four. As of this moment, they look absolutely unstoppable. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Now here's Maxi. Harris on the wing. Five to shoot. Shoots over Ananobi. He hits the back iron and sinks it. And so Randall will bring it up for New York. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Again, the Knicks. Good for two more. Now, so often the guy who sets the screen, in that instance, Julius Randall with the ball in his hands and the pick and roll. Go ahead, Julius. What an excellent post-entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. To the paint. Here's Robinson. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Brunson's got his fourth assist in this one. Pass to Harris. Back to Maxi. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Harris down low. Check by Randall. Harris, the shot is good. And nice strength from Harris, fending off the contact with ease. Now a timeout called by New York.
And the Knicks making a change here. Hart's checked in. Here's Randall. 11 points in the game. Brunson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Brunson's got 25 points in the game. Lowry, the pass to Oubre. Now here's Embiid. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Excellent recognition from Kelly Oubre right there. So solid sensing when one of his guys is open. Randall can't hit. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Yep, count it. Oubre's got four points this quarter. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Outside Ananobi. Pass to Randall. No good that time. Excellent D there from Embiid. Lowry against Brunson. Lowry, good. Well, how about the presence in the post by Kyle Lowry in the face of some pretty good defense? That was a tough conversion. Brunson against Lowry. And that one's good for Brunson. Boy, forget about keeping it simple. He went for the high degree of difficulty on that lay-in. Embiid finds Lowry. From 11 feet away, second chance shot, and the basket by Embiid. Embiid's got 19 points. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. What we know about Jalen Brunson is this guy is not afraid to take it to the cup. He's ready to challenge defenders. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. Boy, the maturation of Brunson is really special. This guy, phenomenal as scorer and facilitator. So for the Knicks, Hardenstein, he's checked in for Julius Randle. And Achua is subbed in for Ananobi. And he sinks the second. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Pass to Harris. Back to Payne. And there's the lob. Ooh, Embiid finishes the lob in style. And just a huge exclamation point on that finish. Embiid never turns down an opportunity to intimidate the opponent. And here's Brunson. That one drops for him. Brunson's got 30. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Pass to Brunson. Oh, there's the alley! Achua with the dunk. The beauty of Jalen Brunson, you can play him at the one or the two, but we know he's always going to put the pass on time and on target. Here's Melton. Five on the clock. Now here's Embiid. Here's Harris. Offensive rebound. Ooh, look at Embiid converting in close. And that's the hunger that Embiid plays with. He just gobbles up the miss and goes back up for the score. Brunson passes to Hart. To the inside. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Boyan Bogdanovich checked in for Hart. Reed's checked in for the Sixers. One shot. Vincenzo, no good on the free throw. Philadelphia shooting has been unreal. 64% from the floor. Good work there as it goes. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. Baseline try. Vincenzo can't hit. 
That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Here's Brunson. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Outside, DiVincenzo. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got his sixth assist of the night. Harris outside. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. One of the most underrated scorers in the NBA, Tobias Harris is a tough assignment. free throw no good capable of playing both the three and four spots Harris's versatility is his greatest strength he hits the second from the line New York has gone three of three from outside here in this one Brunson finds a Chua And he comes up with a bucket. Achua's got four points this quarter. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. 136 left in the second. Melton passes to Heald. The Sixers with another miss. New York has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Outside Brunson. Pass to Hartenstein. Six on the shot clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass. So important. Payne. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Payne's got six. Well, that's not exactly the most solid screen you'll see, but it still works. Hardenstein passes to Bogdanovich. And there's the foul. It'll go on Precious Achua. That'll be a second foul of the game. Any hope of coming back to win this game looks near impossible. I know. The way things have gone so far, hard to imagine. Harris against Achua. Heald from outside. Knocks down the long J. Heald's got five points in the quarter. Well, these are the types of opportunities his team tries to generate for Buddy Heald. He is just so efficient as a jump shooter. Here's Brunson. And the shot goes in. And the Knicks lead by 17. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. And so it's New York leading by 17 at the end of the period. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Coach, the offense is flowing. What will be your message to the team at halftime? We'll keep attacking, make the extra pass, get their size out of the lane, hit the open man. Thanks, Coach. Guys, got to keep being unselfish out there. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO. Standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet. For the Knicks, in the first half of this critical game five, they've played with intensity and energy. And they're now poised to grab that all-important three games to two lead in this series. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? They played smart. They took their time and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually will get the top. When you lose a ball, you have no control over the destiny. And Shaq, what do you think about Philadelphia? They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft. Hate to say it. 
Giving up way too many easy runs. They can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half. It's going to be a long ride home. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. Second half underway. Here's who Nick Nurse has got on the floor. Harrison and Embiid are in the middle. It's Cameron Payne out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. We're beginning to see this more and more from Harris, just taking what the defense allows, and that time finding the wide open man. Randall, right side. Pass to Robinson. Outside Brunson. Shoots from the elbow. He squares up and sinks it. Brunson's got 34 points. Yeah, just late help on the defensive side. I mean, just another breakdown for them. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Right side, Robinson. Pass to Randall. Over Harris. Randall can't hit. Boy, as slow a start as you can have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Shoot two. First one falls. Lowry, he's checked in for Payne. Both free throws good from Maxi. And Brunson's got the ball here for the Knicks. 22 was their biggest lead. Lowry with it, and it's Brunson picking him up. Lowry, no good. New York has got all four threes to drop from downtown in this game. Randall, the pass to DiVincenzo. Pass to Robinson. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Oubre. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Now here's Randall. He's got 11 over Harris. That's good on the jumper. Randall's got 13. The 76ers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Lowry. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And Ananobi gets it to go on the assist by Randall. Randall's got three assists tonight. Lowry to pass to Harris. The floater, another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Knicks shooting the rock around 43% time out, time since the third quarter began. Timeout called, the Knicks.
Josh Hart's checked in for New York. Here's Hart. Pass to Robinson. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. Now, this is what Brunson does so well, right? He keeps defenders off balance and draws that contact. Knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Oubre. He tries for three. Sinks it from distance. Oubre's got ten. Yeah, the extreme confidence on display by Oubre. Knocking it down with the D in his grill. Outside Hart. Back to Randall. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Outside Hart. To the middle. And it's New York with another. Time out, time out. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. I think it's also important we have to acknowledge how many scoring opportunities they've created from their spectacular defense, getting a bunch of points off turnovers. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Reed's checked in for Philadelphia. Philadelphia has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Embiid. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. Here's Hart. And it's good for two. Hart's got six. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Now here's Maxi. Give him eight points now. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Ten points for him. He's just so hard to check. He can turn you one way, then use the spin move to make you look sad. Here's Randall. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. And the Knicks lead by 17. Well, the strength of Julius Randall is an obvious asset. This guy, despite being undersized, is able to finish through contact. Now here's Maxi. Ten points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Tries it from 19. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. And Brunson's got the ball here for the Knicks. Here's Hart. And it's New York with another. You know, he hasn't taken as many shots tonight, but they're still ahead. And that means his teammates are delivering. Up top, Lowry. Brunson defending. Here's Oubre. And the 76ers tack on two more. The Knicks have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Outside Ananobi. Lowry against Brunson. Here's the teardrop for three. Randall. And Reed pulls it down. Philadelphia has gone 4 of 9 so far from the perimeter. 
Maxi against Ananobi. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. So for the Knicks, Hardenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Achua comes in for Randall. And it's Boyan Bogdanovich in for Ananobi. Heald's checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for Lowry. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Who poked away. Here's Hart. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Even if they saw the step back coming, the defense didn't offer much resistance. Pass to Embiid. To the inside. Maxi. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Falls for him. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Both free throws good from Maxi. New York has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Outside Hart. Back to Brunson. Oh, look at Jalen Brunson. Don't let that size fool you. Coaches talk often about the competitor Jalen Brunson is. Boy, you see it on that kind of tough bucket. Now Embiid. He's got 25. And the basket by Heel. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Brunson passes to Hart. Now Bogdanovich. Guarded by Heel. That's tipped. Here's Melton. And he dunks it down. Now this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Pass to Bogdanovich. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got eight assists in the game. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. And here's Melton. Five to shoot. Here's Reed. Pachua defending. For three, Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. After an ice cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. The Knicks make it a switch here. DiVincenzo's checked in. The 76ers also with a sub. Payne's checked in for Tyrese Maxey. Back to Brunson. DiVincenzo on the wing. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Melton, and they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Philadelphia has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. Here's Heald. Got it. Good job in the low post. Heald's got ten points. Tell you what, the defense does a good job on Buddy Heald. This guy just so good at concentrating through a contest. Here's Hardenstein, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Knicks lead by nine. And this is something this guy takes pride in, capitalizing on second-chance opportunities. Kane the pass to Heald. Melton outside. There's the triple. Achua with a rebound. New York has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. From 17, the rebound by Embiid. 
Embiid's got nine rebounds now. Not a lot of falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through, see if you can get an easy opportunity. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more to stretch that defense. Now here's Achua. Outside Bogdanovich. And the three off target. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Payne against Brunson. Payne, pass to Reed. Embiid, high post. Just four to shoot. Oh, Embiid in the face of tough D. Flat out dominant. Joel Embiid having his way tonight. Outside, DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Pass to Achua. Oh, he tries a three. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Outside Payne. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. I think he catches him off guard with the spin move right there. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Achua. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Achua's got nine. Philadelphia has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Payne, the pass to Embiid. Look at Embiid with the skilled finish. I love the confidence Embiid plays with, especially this close to the rim. Here's Brunson. Oh, did he get it off in time? He did. How about that? Are you serious? That was incredible. What a way to seize momentum. Can it carry over into the next quarter? Beautifully done. And so it's New York, finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Great shot selection right now, keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in a small forward. That's the five for New York right now. Lowry with a steal. Oubre on the wing. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Ananobi. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Here's Brunson. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Free throw good from Brunson. The Sixers trailing. Payne pass to Oubre. Oh, Robinson with a block. Wingspan, athleticism, verticality. Robinson with authority sends it back. And he gets the bucket. Brunson's got 45 points. And trying to put the game away, he's been nailed all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Now here's Oubre. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on OG Ananobi. Now you look at the physical gifts for Kelly Oubre. Six foot seven, but with a seven foot two wingspan. He's a terrific leaper, and he's got great potential defensively. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. 
Josh Hart's checked in for Brunson. The 76ers also with a sub. Maxi's checked in. And so Oubre nails them both. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Randall against Harris. Randall inside. Shakes him. And the layup is good. Randall's got 21 points in the game. Boy, there was plenty of contact down low, but Randall assertive and able to find the finish. DiVincenzo with a steal. It's good. And the Knicks lead by 13. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Harris outside. And it's in there. Nothing the defense can do. Harris is just a special player capable of beating you from all three levels. Now here's Randall. And he makes it. Randall's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. Ananobi against Oubre. Fires in the triple. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Randall, the pass to Ananobi. Over Oubre. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. They have no answer defensively inside. Inside. Here's Harris. And how about that? Eight for nine now. You have to do more to stop Harris. I mean, a little contact just won't cut it. Pass to Randall. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Now here's Harris. Shoots over Randall. And here's another one for the Sixers. And for Harris, it's about getting into a rhythm. Once he does this, he can take over games. And the layup falls. Randall's got 14 points now in the second half. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. And Ananobi gets... OG Ananobi, because of his athletic ability, can be special in the open floor. Nice finish there. Maxi against Hart. Robinson with the block. Maxi against Hart. Right side, DiVincenzo. Back to Hart. DiVincenzo on the wing. Down low, Robinson. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Brunson has checked in for New York. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. They keep hitting free throws at this clip. It'll help them seal the deal. Philadelphia has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Maxi passes to Lowry. Embiid with it. Robinson defending. Oh, ho, ho. Embiid ignores the contact and converts. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. For three, Randall nails it from three. Randall's got 17 now, just in the second half. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Well, this guy is a champion, and Kyle Lowry understands how to move the basketball. Here's Brunson, and the layup is good off the glass. Brunson's got seven now in this quarter. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Outside Maxi. Pass to Oubre. Just five to shoot, and is blocked. 
OG Ananobi is fast off his feet. Seven foot two wingspan, says twice on the pipes. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Now here's Harris. The putback. It's good on the putback. Embiid's got 33 points. That's a pure effort play. Nice tip in. And that's a skill you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Here's Ananobi, and it's New York scoring again. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Pass to Embiid. Back to Lowry. Tries again. Embiid misses. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. Well, keep your head up. Look for an opportunity to facilitate Julius Randle the delivery. Harris outside. Embiid gets the bucket. Embiid's got 10 points in just the second half. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end. But right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Back to DiVincenzo. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. And so Lowry will bring it up for Philadelphia. Here's Embiid. And it's good. Timeout, Two points. Timeout. Embiid's got eight here in this quarter. Two strong points from Embiid. His M.O. is to own the painted area. Now a timeout called by New York. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Jalen Brunson. Yeah, and this game really has his fingerprints all over it. He's been dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. Man, this is still anyone's series. So the way he has stepped up is crucial, showing that he has what it takes to deliver on the big stage. New York has gone 7 of 9 from three-point range so far. Randall outside. Left side, Robinson. Another basket. He's now 6 for 7 in the contest. Wow, forceful finish by Mitchell Robinson. Love to see it. Why don't you flex right there, Mitchell? And the shot's good. Maxie's got 24 points. His first half performance, somewhat forgettable, but now... Pouring it on. Lowry with a steal. Pass to Maxi. Launches it. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Forcing the action now. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Brunson against Lowry. Brunson passes to Ananobi. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Well, OG Ananobi is just continuing to add to his skill set. Nice finish on the interior.
Philadelphia has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Now a timeout call by Philadelphia. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. And I think a new plan would be a good idea. At least make it hard on this guy. Robinson against Embiid. Oubre passes to Embiid. Oh, look out! Joel Embiid with a power jam! Yeah, Embiid can throw it down from anywhere. So much power for the big fella. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That'll be a second foul of the game. Pass to Ananobi. Back to Brunson. Shot clock at five. And he lobs it up to the rim. And a big finish by Robinson. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Yeah, the big man in bead, just capable of sticking it from these in-between spots. Pass to Randall. Outside Robinson. And here's Ananobi. He's covered by Oubre. And the basket is good. And Anobi's got 13 points here in the second half alone. In this series setup, game fives are so important. A massive win for the Knicks. Their transition game was the standout for me. Created a lot of extra pressure pushing the ball. I agree. They took control of the tempo and were really dictating the terms of the game. And with a win here in game five, they're able to snatch a 3-2 lead in this series. Yeah, they've got a sliver of breathing room now. Closing out a series is never an easy task, but they've got two chances to do it. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Jalen Brunson. They simply can't stop him right now. This guy playing with passion and focus. Harris misses. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now here's Randall. Banked it in off the glass. Randall's got 30 points. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. And so it's the Knicks taking care of business in this one. And with this win, they've piled all the pressure. They only need one more victory to close the series out. And this was a critical performance. At 2-2, a team season can ride on a game five like this one. They did a terrific job of rising to the moment and taking control of the series. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.